Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Tectonica. And we are currently in the latest version. It, there's been an update. It's, we're currently in version 0.1.14, I believe. And there's been a lot of changes. This happens to be one of them. You might actually notice it. Uh, there is a uh, toggleable animations on it. And there's also been a, a big sound fix. So the, the frame rate has been better. It's not perfect just because, you know, there's a lot here right now. It's not as much as I've seen, but quite a bit uh, and they also did a, they did a big audio fix uh, they also did uh, another big overhaul on the research they've dramatically reduced the cost of technologies with research so we have a substantial uh, amount of uh, research and uh, they said it was uh, currently 1500 purple and about 5000 blue to do all the research in the game and we still got a ways to go. Like there's still a few tiers left. I don't know what's after Victor, but Victor's got quite a bit left. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually unlock a few things that we need. We'll get Miles. We get this. Miles. We get this. Cause we can afford it. Uh, we have the crank generator mark two now, so that's actually gonna be handy. I have no idea what the price and the cost is gonna be on that. Uh, everything else I have to find. Uh, we might also dig up into everything. Uh, the mole's been changed now. The mole can now actually dig down, and I'm not sure if it could be before, but you can dig up with it now, so you can actually dig down and sort of start digging down tunnels. So, I might as well get this too, because I've got the, the things for it. Oh, speed. That'll come in really handy. Alright, what else we got here? Oh, yeah, the sm sm smelter mark 2. Now, unfortunately, this isn't powered, but it's supposed to smelt faster, I think, and I believe. I th well, I think it's the only one that can be used for the Atlantum, so I'm going to have to make more of them anyway, so we'll unlock that. That I have to find. Uh, I'd like to get into this, too, the stack stacking servers. Looking at that. It's only three items each, but we'll do that. I'm not going to worry about the tool belts, because I don't use them. Uh, there's nothing in here, and in energy, we've already done. So I still got lots of research cores, but we have to start uh, upgrading uh, Victor a little bit, which means, as you can see, I have to start mass-producing... Uh, processors now what i've done over where our advanced processors yes so what i've done is where i'm mining the atlantum is i've set it up on i've had two more ins inserters on the, the miners because they were backlogged and it just wasn't mining enough so we got a steady flow so i could probably use quite a bit of that and before i forget i'm also get back to the update because there was actually quite a few things i'm just forgetting everything uh, if you actually look on the left now you can actually see they've added in-game metrics so you can actually see like the actual processing speed of what each thing does uh, i think it does that on the inserter and on the conveyors uh they said they've also significantly buffed the speeds of conveyors now so even the mark ones now are going slightly faster uh what else did they do Okay, there was actually a couple of things that they changed. Uh, they did change the, the height limit on the core composers and also removed the mushroom cap. So uh, if you go to an area like over at the, the elevator shaft there, which we're going to be checking out in a, in a bit here, uh, you can have the core composer go right up to the very ceiling or as tall or high as you want. So that's going to be something interesting. Uh, as far as the monorail bug, uh, it's still currently in-game. They haven't gotten around to... Dig digging down to the, the heart of it, so they're going to be uh, working on that eventually in the near future. Uh, as far as things here go, we're not too bad. Uh, I do want to get the processors going. I was having a look down here, and I am producing processors here. Uh, where are they? Yeah, right here. I am producing them. I am just not producing enough of them because they are going upstairs, going into... I should forget what I'm doing. Uh, research. Maybe it's time we shut down the research for a bit because we're not doing much with it. It's just building up like we've already got cores lined up down there and I've got cores I haven't even spent yet. So let's shut her down. Uh, let's see here. Where are those processors coming from? Here. Uh, is it right? Yes. All right. Now we can let those build up. We'll see if we can actually speed this up a little bit. What is it missing? Uh, yeah, the plant matter frames. All right, uh, plant matter frames are coming out of here. And this is going to be an insert issue. I actually went ahead and made a whole bunch of them, so I got to make more. Uh, let me upgrade this stuff and we'll start getting into the... Pro uh, then we're going to start getting into ma uh, the mass Atlantum processing. 
Okay, uh, should be ready to go. I got um, the iron frames and the copper frames auto producing because, as you can see, I'm gonna need those too. I uh, also need the uh, accumulators. I need 900 of them, 860. I believe that was this one here, was it not? The copper frames. Not. What was the accumulator recipe? And the candle line, yes. Alright, I might have to do uh, do some conveyor upgrades for one. That's definitely going to help. Uh, where's the line coming from? Okay, we've got a steady supply of that. So that's going to start producing accumulators oh, in the meantime. Now we got to get this uh, stuff upstairs and start getting processed. Uh, let me figure this one out. Okay, well, I want to get this upstairs so I can process it and start turning into processors. Well, we'll build a staircase. Uh, I have sort of tested it out and it does seem to work. And it's not working right now because I'm in the way, but if I go up to here, then I don't have to worry about building the blocks. I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of these. And then you go ahead and place another floor tile down or another 5,000 because that's what I got. And might as well fill that hole I made. So now to get the stuff set up. So the way it gets processed is it, it goes through a thresher. Now let's make sure I have everything on the bar. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, it goes into a thresher that gets mixed with uh, limestone and silverthorn extract. Fortunately, I have tons of it, both of them. Then it becomes the uh, impure or the Atlanta mixture. Oh, hang on. Uh, hmm. Get rid of that for now. Atlanta mixture and then it gets smelted in a Mark II furnace. Speaking of, what is the cost on that Atlanta maggots? Of course, I do have um, 200 circuits right now. I looked in the price of this, uh, it's two, two advanced circuits each. So if I start upgrading, that's going to cost a lot. I checked the power. We, so far, we're doing okay, but a lot of machines aren't even running right now. All right, uh, what was I doing? I was getting this ready. All right, now where is the limestone, the best source of it? I am generating that stuff everywhere. Okay, I've got a whole bunch of it coming out of here. In fact, let's do that. Let's get another staircase going. All right. Hmm. Well, this will be fine. Should, and I love how the staircase is so easy to build like that. Hold on. There we go. And then I'll just connect that up. So I gotta do that. And then I gotta get the silver thorn extract, which I'm currently producing here. It does seem to be building up. It was going upstairs for the research. In fact, it's probably already up there. So I don't have to bring it up. I probably have limestone up here too. I gotta expand the staircase. I try to get rid of that plant. And it is impossible. I have completely uprooted the thing. And it will not disappear. I'm wondering if it's stuck in the cliff wall, but yeah, I don't know. Actually, a good chance to test out, test out the mall. The new upgrades. Oh yeah, that's much faster. I really want to get rid of this thing. I tried everything, and it just will not go. Well, there's one thing I haven't tried. First, I want to see if I can actually get rid of this. Uh, the rock is attached to. Maybe it's... Sort of attached to somewhere. And nothing. Alright, uh... Down the hot bar. Mining charges. When, else, when all else fails, blow it up. Beautiful. Damn you. Anyway. That did not work. So I'm stuck with it. I might have to move that staircase somewhere. Or take the conveyor up. up. But yes, I have silver thorn extract going over here, which... Actually going into the making the cooling systems that I actually need anyway, so that is actually really good. I think it was the cooling systems, right? Not the cooling system, uh, the extract. Yeah, I don't know, uh, wrong one. Okay, I just need the extract itself, not into the, the coolant. The coolant was for something else, and I can't remember what it was. Uh, I think it was, oh, I think that was actually advanced processors. No cooling. Oh, cooling fan, which is, yeah, so that should be made right here. This is actually the, the research component. Uh, I just changed that because that's what it was. Uh, that was going into conveyors, which I have more than enough. I need, what was it? 
900, so we've got that. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start getting this set up. So, thrushers are on the bar. Go to F7. Uh, we're going to split this up. We're going to go with that. And we're going to double this up. They also changed uh, block spacing on the thresher. So, apparently now you can have one to one. So, I can just go straight in like that. Right, then um, basically what, what happens is that goes in there, it gets turned into that and limestone. And limestone, hang on, did I actually go back into this? Uh, no, that actually went into this, so I might have to start processing the ores just to get rid of all this extra limestone, because as far as I know, there's nothing else you can actually do with it. Get further come on, extract and all that stuff. But anyways, uh, enough chit chat, I gotta make some more inserters and stuff like that, so I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Now all I have to do is set the recipe on this. Uh, this is already processing it right now. Uh, limestone's not coming out fast enough. Oh, I might have to get a second import on. Uh, let me get back upstairs somehow. Turns out my jetpack actually did make it. Alright, so yeah, I am here. And then, but basically that's what it is. I might be able to pull something out of here. I don't know how I'm going to get it onto the conveyor. I could probably lift this up and snake it through or something. There, that'll that'll fix it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so the limestone's not coming out of here fast enough, so it's not an issue. I might be able to, like I said, I might be able to lift this up or have the limestone coming out and going into here first and layer it down the kindle line. That's actually a good idea. Let me try that. Okay, that seems to work. I have two inserters on here pulling the limestone out. Still, we're an alarming rate, but that's fine. Uh, we do have everything ready to go in here, so we go ahead and, as you can see, there's the rest before. That's what I need the coolant for, but that copper ore looks like chocolate. Kind of appetizing. Uh, what are we doing here? We are doing uh, Atlanta Blend. Now, it's not going to be fast. Be fast enough. We'll go ahead and do that. Now, I just have to get some fuel in here, and now we should have tons of bio bricks. Oh yeah, that's not fuel. Uh, bio bricks. That must be right here somewhere. Nope, that's uh, the wrong one. There we go. And I think I've got everything maxed out on them, so it should last for ages. Uh, now to get back upstairs. Need teleporters. And uh, better mouse sensitivity. Got to use that jetpack that I spent all that research for. Okay. Uh, you get a stack. And you get a stack. And. What is your problem? Ah. Hmm. Facing the wrong way. Alright, well, you should be getting there pretty quick. Just make sure this is up and running. Uh, good, we are producing here. I have a land downstairs, which is great. Now, for the next step. Now, I want to get more processors going. Uh, like I said, I've got uh, pretty much everything going up here to produce more. All I really need to do is get more plant matter going. And the plant matter, of course, is going to be... Well, we're going to need a lot of silver thorns, so we might as well start using that. I believe that gets me stems, does it not? Or is that just the kindle vine stems? Let me check this out quickly. No, it's just a shiver thorn. So that means I'm going to have more kindle vine extract to deal with around here. Anyway, let's go back upstairs. And I do have to make some planters. How are we doing here? Uh, we'll get there eventually. I might be able to increase the speed of this somehow. Actually, I check the metrics here. What am I doing? Uh, two every two and a half, twenty-two and a half minutes. Wait, what? Oh, twenty-two a minute. Okay, and what are we doing here? Uh, Forty-five a minute. All right. Well, it seems to be working. Anyway, uh, planters. That's one thing I didn't actually make. Uh, make one. And that's gonna produce some. Uh, let me get some resources here, and we'll get that going. Okay, I'm just getting things ready here, and uh, 
Also, I noticed this. I didn't even realize this until now. When you hit the alt mode, that brings up like the icons on the machines. It also shows you the directions that the inserters are going. So yellow for going in with the arrows and green coming, coming out. That was pretty interesting, but I was trying to figure out uh, what I could do to get more uh, uh, plant fibers going. So I came down here to check and see my setup here, and I forgot that I actually had a setup here going. And then I was looking at it and like, why is it not running? And then I realized that this chest here is com completely full of plant fibers. And the reason why it's full of plant fibers is because for some reason this thing came to a complete halt. Because it's not producing any more limestone out of the Kindle Vine. Or the Kindle Vine Extract. And the reason why it's not producing any more Kindle Vine Extract is because this thing is, actually, is full and not processing any more stems. So, uh, yeah. We'll borrow this, shall we? Uh, this was basically self-feeding itself. So I'm going to take this upstairs and join it up. And I was going to get two or two or three lines at something like this set up but we'll see how it goes with just what's coming out of here and go from there okay i am bringing them up so our goal is as i said our goal is to be making these advanced processors uh to make the advanced processors i need to make these processors uh, which are electrical components of plant matter frames and i need plant matter frames so i'm bringing up plant fibers uh i don't know what the crafting time is going to be on the assembler but we're going to find out uh, let's see, uh, assembler is on number F5. Uh, where is that plant matter? Okay, right, right here. And let's go ahead and set this to frames. Now let's see how long it takes to do this. Uh, new conveyors. And we'll just go there for now. And throw a yield inserter on. There we go. Gonna have to put a couple of servers on here, I think. And another conveyor. Oh, that's the wrong button. Hoping I can keep up with the input. And it looks like it. Alright. So then this is going to be making those. Uh, I'll probably get a buffer chest here just because. And sorry for switching out my hotbar all the time. Keep hitting Q to un sort of unequip it so it's not in the way. But <laughs> I almost thought those were uh, mining charges. Okay, so now I got to make. Uh, just going to make the electrical components. Electrical components are iron and copper wire. Okay, let me bring those over and we'll get that going. Okay, I think we're ready to go here. Uh, I re noticed that there was a whole bunch of copper wire being done for the research that we're not actually using, so I went ahead and did that, keep that producing. I'm bringing the iron over there because, again, we're not using that. We're just filling up that chest. So I'm bringing it over here so I don't have to worry about actually setting up another assembler here. Uh, plant matter frames are going through. They're holding up. Let's see how the unit's holding up. I could probably get a little more production going, but uh, this is just temporary. Until I get it going a little bit better. And then in here, we are making... Actually, i got to make circuits first. So, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. What are we doing in here? Ah, i got to make those first. And then i got to make those. Okay, hang on. Okay, we do it that way first. Then over here, then we go here we make... Uh, we are making... Which one's here? Ah. Processor unit. That takes plant matter frames and electronic components. Let me go over here and we're gonna put these into a chest too just so I can get that. Just put a buffer. Go like that. I can make a couple more of these things. Always make five or ten when I should be making like fifty or sixty of them. Do that. And then now we just get one more assembler and we can actually start making these circuits. And Hmm. Where do I want this set up? Ah, we'll just do it right here. That can be enough room. No. Let's do this a little differently here. Oh. And we will do that. And then go hit the right button here. 
Okay, that's going in there. And we'll just stick another inserter there. Actually, we'll do it there instead. Just so the conveyor lines up. And like that. And I believe if I do it right. Land them coming out. Set you to advanced processors. Oh, I need the cooling systems. Uh, got a little spot for them right here. And I am actually producing them right here. In fact, I was using them for the... Uh, I was using them for the, con the conveyor belts, yes. Uh, actually, this is making the conveyor belts. Where are they? Uh, I know I am making cooling supply. Ah, in here. Oh, that wasn't it. Somewhere in here. There we go. Alright, let me root that over and we'll get him, get him going. Okay, there we go. We have another conveyor out here. It was so nice and clean up here and I started doing work and now we're here. Now I just gotta make one more conve container because I don't have any. Won't take long. Three, there we go. And just one more insert. There we go. It'll take a long time to. We are mass producing now. Uh, what else did I need? Uh, hang on a second. Okay, I am done. I went ahead and put a second assembler here. I don't know if it's going to hold up, if it's going to keep up on keeping them both going, but so far it seems to be somewhat decent. We have already 76 in here, make that 136. And we need only 200. I do have the conveyor belts, but in the meantime, we'll investigate this freight elevator. Uh, there are a few things that we need to upgrade, but we're basically stuck behind in circuits right now. Uh, as far as that lantern production going, going, see what we're doing here. Well, how are we getting there? About 600 here, and then whatever we have downstairs. And uh, that's also being used at the same time, too, so i got to keep that in mind. I also have this chest down here that is slowly filling up, and we have 900 in here. Anyway, uh, let's go explore and figure out what this elevator is all about. I believe it was this way. Um, hmm. Oh, yes, it was just up here. Uh, I, was, I think I mentioned already about the cost of these Mark II generators. They are a little on the pricey side as far as the Aladdin goes currently. Uh, this is me taking my thumbnail. I've got to clean out my scaffolding. Now, was it in here? I believe it was. Definitely something up there. I think this is it. I think it was over this direction. Aha. Alright. Let's go see what this is all about. Probably should be scanning all the things, but I don't care. I uh, also noticed a bug too, um, where I have the Atlanta mine, there's, um, I go up the riverbed with the conveyor, there's a spot next to a rock. Uh, the water is actually deep enough where you're fully submerged, and you can't jump, you can't get out with a jetpack or anything like that, so that is an issue. Uh, going over water, always you want to have your jetpack going. Alright, uh, so there's two of them here we have to do. It's telling me, I'm not exactly sure what it's telling me to do, what do we need here? We just gotta generate power to this. Okay, that's actually fairly easy. If uh, we can get enough juice into this thing, we should be able to ride it to another sector. Yes. Hopefully we will find other, more established areas of the expedition still intact. Though I fear that this collapse has most likely spread. Even so, we might find other people who got left behind. Nobody deserves to be alone in a place like this. No. But until we can contact command, our primary mission to industrialize this world remains. Sector by sector, if necessary. Sir, with all due respect, don't you think rescuing the crew has to come first? I do not. We are on a mission to return resources to Earth that will impact the lives of billions. It is greater than any of us. But even so, Look at all we have built to come this far. 
These factories are what have enabled us to augment the signals, open the doors, and discover the tools that have made it possible to learn everything we could. Soon, the electricity of those same machines will power this freight elevator and hopefully carry us one step closer to the truth. I will not pretend to share your priorities, Sergeant, but I can assure you they are intertwined. Fine. We'll build the factories, especially if it helps us dig people out of the tin cans they sent us down here in. But if it comes down to choosing between a life and a lost cause, I know where I stand. I will tell you when all is lost. For now, we must remain focused on the restoration of this elevator. Also, the Excalibur was not a tin can. It was a tuna can. Oh god, they never shut up. I was actually thinking about leaving them at home, but I didn't know if I was going to miss storyline or stuff like that. Anyway, let's go explore, open this up. Oh, let's get that rid of that. Uh... Oh, I had to inspect. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess I gotta get this going. Uh, that should be relatively simple. Let's see, I need, uh... Do I just need to have to put 1,200 in? Or do I... Uh, let's actually see what my power situation is. I believe... I believe I can see it. Power network. Because I'm not on the base. Okay, uh, I think I just need, need accumulated charge. I'm wondering if I can bring power up here. Because uh, I do actually have everything on me. Do I have it on the hot bar? I do not, but I do have six of these. And I also have 150 cable. Alright, so now how did I get in here? I believe... I'm very happy to see that the freight elevator is still intact. Not sure if it actually works, but obviously it would not have been easy to rebuild from scratch. Let's take a look. I just realized something. I inadvertently planned ahead. I can find my way back. Uh, let's see here. Over there. Okay, so it's down here, I think. Yes, because what did I just recently do? Oh, it's over here. If I can find it. I'm lost in my own tunnels. Uh, map please. I'm trying to do a dramatic reveal here. <laughs> it ain't working too well. I'm lost. Hold on. Found it. There's a hole in the wall I had to find. Uh, yeah, we got all this power saved up here. And 2.7 gigajoules. So perfect. All I really have to do is just bring a little cable up there. Now I do have one there, and that's going to the base. Now where did I put that thing on two? All right, now we go to three. Now, I don't know what the limitations of these, of these are. Certain places you can place them, I don't know if you can only go so far with them. But let's see if, uh, one, I gotta find my way there, and two, make sure I actually have them connected because I had tried connecting them before and it just ended up turning out as a blog. But anyways, I'm gonna get this connected and I'll bring you back when we're powered up. Okay, uh, I found my way back, and I have a cable with me that should be all connected. And all I really have to do... Plug her in. Oh, wow. Multiple levels. 500 advanced circuits, huh? ...EFES freight elevator. Awaiting executive level security authorization. Handing this one over to you, sir. Do not be concerned. System, receive authorization, Zeta-17. Request denied. Authorization restricted to flag officers. That... should not have occurred. Flag officers? Wait, I remember them. Pacific did this? Please, I need a moment to concentrate. 
A memory is taking form. System, receive Phoenix Protocol Omega-15. Stand by. Confirming planet-wide eligibility. Phoenix Protocol confirmed. Freight elevator initialized. Fulfill production quota to operate. A production quota? Yes. Yes, I uh -oh. remember now. Sir, are you all right? The quota is unbreakable, Sergeant. We must fulfill it to proceed. Sir, that isn't the point. These elevators aren't supposed to have quotas that prevent them from moving. This is captivity. This is not what the expedition was about. There's no need to reach conclusions prematurely. It may be that this quota was instituted to compensate for catastrophic loss of production elsewhere. Or everywhere. If the loss was that catastrophic, our crew could be in trouble in any sector. Anywhere. Yes. And we are standing before the only way to reach them. Groundbreaker, you will show this quota what I know you are capable of. Proceed. Local signal deciphered. Unknown. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. So, what do they mean by... Okay, so I thought maybe I'd unlock it. So, quota, does that mean, like, I just have to provide this, or do I have to provide this constantly? I don't know, but I think I have the resources, so let me go and uh, bring it back and see where this goes. Okay, that's actually not bad. In the time we were gone, we got that many circuits. So, I'll take those out for now. And, uh, let's go check this thing out. It's a beacon. See where the the next one is. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. No additional data. Okay, and which one is this? Question mark. Question mark. Now, is it going to tell me in the log here? Uh, it's not going to be a log, is it? Yeah, it's going to be in here somewhere. Uh, or is it going to be a journal? Yes, the journal. That's not it. Huh. Well, I'm going to go investigate while we're producing more of things, and I'll bring you back when I find it. Okay, I think I'm onto something, and I think it's my own trail. Because if I look at the map, I believe that's Atlantum, and that's Atlantum, and that's Atlantum. I believe this is that unknown, unknown structure that we found. So if I run along here... Run into the Atlantum. And the next map, the next tunnel goes this way. And I'm gonna keep telling myself that nothing in this game can actually kill me, so I'm gonna assume I'm okay. Yeah, it's definitely coming from here. Alright, and uh, how do I get out? Somewhere around here. Where's that map? Hang on. I will get there eventually. Sooner or later. Okay, I found it. And I'm also making sure I'm recording for the grand reveal, but I believe this is it. Now, I've already been here already. What am I supposed to do here? Good thing I brought some floors. Try to get a little bit of a bridge going out, and we'll see if we can take a bit of a peek. Oh, yeah. Not gonna let me go any further. Hmm. Let's investigate, shall we? Maybe I came here too early and I broke the quest. I came here to mine all this Atlantum, right? Let me check this out. 
Okay, well, I've been looking around. I haven't really seen much. I might look on the map, but notice I can, for some reason, walk up here. And definitely bedrock or something down there. The marker went away, too, and I didn't get any update on the story. But maybe what I'll do before I head back is I'll look around and see if maybe there's some, any, any chests hidden anywhere. That's just Atlanta Moor. That's the platform I placed. And there's a void down to the bedrock that I can't even get into. So let me look around a little bit and then I'll just meet you back, uh, back at the base. I'm just looking at the map here. There appears to be a chest down below. So I'm going to go dig down there and have a look and see what it's all about. Found it. And what do we get? Smelter, advanced circuit processors, and some coolant. Uh, that's good. Uh, I haven't really figured out what's going on here. I think maybe we'll find out more when I upgrade the terminal or the freight elevator. And I think... In a few minutes, I might actually have enough to do with both Victor and the freight elevator. So I'll meet you back at the base and we'll go from there. You know, it really pays attention to actually look at what you're reading. Uh, I need 860 uh, mega megajoules of accumulated power, not 860 accumulators. So that means all we have to do is just wire this thing up, which we'll do uh, right now. If... I can, it will not come off of there. Actually, we already have the power we wanted, never mind. So it's just the materials. Uh, I have almost all the advanced processors. I think I need about 85 more to craft those by hand. But let's go grab the conveyors, which are going to be upstairs. Oh, uh, I do have uh, the iron and copper frames producing a little bit faster, so that's definitely going to help. Now they are downstairs. Uh, let's see. Nope, oh, that's accumulators. Muzzle. Uh, might as well leave it running. Uh, I'm lost. Turn around too fast and I get lost where I, I forget where I am. Um, oh yeah, copper frames are in here. One, two, three, four. And iron frames are in here. Alright, now... Yes, made sure I had the right amount. I was thinking for some reason I had 100 and I realized oh yeah, it was 250 a stack, not 25 a stack. Okay, so there, 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 and there. Upgraded. I'm scared to see the next wirement level. 900 frames, 900 frames, 500 circuits. Mining charge. Oh, 500 mining charges and mark two conveyors. I think we could almost do this. Technologies and recommended tasks available. Advisory. All major sector assets have been reactivated. Remaining production terminal upgrades will be limited to the yield of extreme advancements in productivity. You're going for it, huh? Nice. In other words, we're just about done the research. But let's see what that unlocked quickly, and then we'll go uh, deal with that freight elevator. Uh... That's the monorail, that's power trim. I don't care about that right now. Uh, core boost, this gives an extra mining boost for how many cores are in composers, but they're not really... Uh, they, they change composers so they don't hold like 400 cores anymore. They stop you know, filling up at 10. So that's not really worth it, but I guess we could do it just because. We have the extra stuff and oh uh, atlanta infused limestone oh that actually might be interesting not that it matters it's processing it takes time uh terraforming anything new uh, nothing i can't have can't nothing that i can't nothing i don't have to find yes that's yeah, pressure remark too so we're gonna have to find some more stuff in the next area and uh, nothing in there uh same with transport this is all stuff i have to find and yeah, same in here. Alright, um, let me see what I have for circuits. Oh yes, they're upstairs. I'm starting to feel that light again. I might have to turn some more graphic settings down. Eh, I need a new computer. Come on, open. Alright, how many do I have here? 490. Alright, well let me gather the rest of the stuff and I'll meet you back at the elevator. So I decided to have a look at this Atlantum uh, infused limestone, and apparently it uses four ore, not the blend, uh, the, the 
metal there. Lantern powder. Just ore. Coolant and limestone. I should go check this out. I think I have everything in I need in here. A little more a little more uh, things I was crafting frames on hand off in my inventory. Uh, just to help speed things along here. There I have no coolant in here. Uh, I don't have any more random chests. Oh, I'm starting to hear those sound files sort of doubling up on me. Uh, what do I have? Coolant. Coolant, coolant, coolant. Aha. Okay, and I need uh, a limestone. Uh, actually, I have a limestone. Alright, what am I missing here? Oh yeah, the Atlanta more. That might help. Alright, let's go jump down here. Uh, out of the oop. And I missed. Oh, I did. One, two, three, four. Actually, it was eight. Alright, let's see what happens with this. Okay, it takes four seconds. Let's actually cancel crafting. And then do that. And then queue those up. Not that it's going to take very much longer. And then we'll go use the smoke that we have down here. Oh, no. We got a thresher first. Uh, do I have a thresher? I do not. Alright, back upstairs we go. Back into my little chest of goodies here. I just have one. Uh, how do I take one? I have no idea. I just want one. Alright. Go ahead and place it down and see what we get out of it. Oh, is this going to give me more ore? Wait a minute. That's not right. Four ore goes into four ore. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I am back and we are just about done with everything. Um, yeah, the recipe is a little, bu little bit bugged. It is very early access, so I'm sure some of the overlooked uh, are doing so much work to the game right now. So that's 2,500 iron frames, and this should be 2,500 copper frames. I do have circuits on me. So now to get back to the elevator. Now I gotta remember where that was. Ah, yes, it was this way. I shall meet you there. And here we are. Alright. So, 2,500 iron frames, 2,500 copper frames, and 500 circuits. Task inbound. Overtime scaling. Review journal for expansion guidelines to ensure capacity for extreme production terminal upgrades. Standardized sector production quota fulfilled. Freight elevator restrictions lifted. Excellent work, both of you. We should rest for a while before we depart. I know this reconstruction has been long and difficult. You sound tired, sir. Are you all right? These limitations in our memories are irritating. I know that much of what I am able to remember was highly classified. But I can no longer recall the intention behind it. Someone was desperate, abusing their power. Something is not as it was. Sir, if you're not telling me something that could help us rescue the crew or get out of here... I understand my duties precisely, Sergeant. Choose your next words very carefully. You don't have to keep secrets from me, sir. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I'm back. And I also realize this is actually quite a long video, but I think we'll go and insp inspect this before we go. I can see a few things in this office, but the real prizes are in that warehouse. It might be a while before we can get in there. Hmm, interesting. Alright, where's that scanner? Can I scan this? Happy construction doctrine. No big deal. Uh, nothing important. Oh, what's uh? Oh, I actually wonder what, what wonder what's up there. We'll have to check that out in the next episode, I think. 
Lots of stuff to scan. Oh my god, what do I need? 400 van circuits, 85 cooling systems. Oh, that's actually really cheap. And what do we have in here? Ooh, Mark II Thresher, Mark II uh, Crank Generator. Nice. Well, I think we're going to leave this one here. Uh, next episode, we're going to go in there and we're going to check out all these goodies, start getting some new stuff to unlock and figure out what's in that jar over there. And I'll just take the elevator up to the top and see what's up there. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.